this video, I'm going to demonstrate the power of ImageJ automation using macros and batch processing. I'm not going to actually cover how to do it. There is a tutorial document that I am linking to in the description. You can check that out. But this is just how well it works. I have a some images here. Only, what is it, 12 images here, but this works for many, many more. Uh, these are images of uh, the nucleus of cells stained on a on an intestinal scaffold. And so I want to analyze how many cells are on each image, but I have many, many, many images that I want to analyze. So all I have to do is go over here to image J, process, batch, macro, because I've already created a macro that, uh, that lets me analyze the particles in each image. So let me find that folder. It's uh, image samples. And then let me select, okay, I already have a macro here. And so when I press process, there we go. Normally I would have to go and analyze every image by hand one by one, but instead it's taking each image, running a threshold command based on settings that I already set by creating a macro. It went and analyzed them all on its own, and here's a nice summary of all the data that I wanted. The number of particles, the area of particles, the average size, things like that. That's the power of image automation.